Hello World History, this is day 32. This is 32C. This will be our last lecture for today. We're talking about Rome. So Rome's uh, version of Hammurabi's code is the, well, it's their own law, but it's a written law system. And this was something that the plebeians begged and pleaded and asked for. They wanted the laws to be written down. And why was that? We can discuss that as a class. I want you to think about it. Why is a written law, even if it's a little harsh, better than no written law at all? Think about that. We'll discuss that as a class. Here's several examples. So from table eight, then you have all these different laws that are in the eight category. And you have table four, different laws in the four category. Table 10, different laws in that category. So there were 12 categories of laws written in Rome and they each had these different distinctions to it on this page. You don't need to write down all the laws. You might want to write down one or two examples. We'll discuss why is a written law better than no law at all, arguably, and then discuss these laws specifically. All right, so ancient Roman architecture. They adapt and borrow some aspects of Greek architecture, which we talked about the pillar and the column are huge in Greece, invented in Greece first, also used in Rome. And by the way, on our upcoming test, uh, there will be things where you'll select, was that from Greece first? And you'll do that for pillar and column. Was that from Rome first? And you'll do that for dome. I like to remind students the Rome dome, it rhymes. So those go together, the Rome dome. Rome invented concrete. They were the first ones, at least in the West, to use concrete in their building structures. And when you know that, that can help you remember what they're able to do with that because using the strength of the concrete, they're able to make dome type shapes and have them stand up and arches and have them stand up, kind of going all the way around with their architecture. Roman buildings also think about inventing the concrete. They have aqueducts with the arches for carrying water. Roman architecture tends to be strong and well engineered. You can still see a lot of the Colosseum standing. Again, that's good engineering. That's a strength to stand after all these years. I mean, Italy's been bombed before. The Colosseum is mostly standing. Some of us have been there. Some of us have seen the ruins in Rome and just seeing all that remains is pretty impressive with their architecture. So here you have an example of the Rome Dome right here. And while this wasn't built at the time of the Roman Republic, it was built later, but it uses a lot of Roman features. You see the pillars, the dome. Anyone know what this building is as you do your notes? I can ask um, for a student to share when we do our 12 tables discussion later what this building is. So I'll, I'll show the slide again. Remind me if I forget, like, you're going to show that slide. Anyone know what this building is? I'll ask the class later, too, when we do our discussion today. So feel free to share this, what this building is. The flag could be a clue, maybe pretty familiar. All right, what is the legacy of Rome? Why do we study Rome today? Uh, the empire fell. It had a lot of mistakes. Well, we, we adopt things from the government. The Senate, the veto, checks and balances are the primary ones. Uh, some of their legal system is reflected in our legal system. Certainly we use written laws and just different distinctions of laws. And we even have some laws in our country that are pretty similar to how they did their legal system. Uh, so the Latin language in Rome that they end up adopting as their national language becomes a base for a lot of other languages, including English, Spanish, uh, the Romance languages in this category that have some Latin roots in, in some or a lot of the words. Spanish has a lot of Latin roots in its words. If any of you have studied Latin, feel free to share in discussion today what you learned about it. And then of course the legal system, which relates to the laws but basically that you'll be tried, that you'll be found innocent or guilty, that kind of thing. Uh, you are familiar with this because you know that Jesus is tried um, 